Now we're in the cross country collecting ring. I'll show you some of my warm up tips. I wouldn't warm up very long in the cross country and I'd probably only jump two or three fences. But the one thing that I do do is I put my stirrups up a couple of holes from the show jumping because cross country you're, you spend your time in a standing up position. Therefore it's easier with slightly shorter stirrups I find. Then I'll look at the collecting ring fences. Here we've just got this one here today. So I'm going to jump it once in a nice rhythm and then I'll move the tempo up a little bit as if I was starting to get into cross country mode. Just jump it once normally. Good boy. The same thing applies though with the cross country as it does with the show jumping. Even though I go a bit stronger in my pace, I would still try to just keep a nice rhythm and keep a balance. Good boy. And then I would probably turn up and slightly angle one. Good boy. I wouldn't get much more excited than that, to be honest with you, with the cross country collecting ring. They've done their dressage, they've done the show jumping, they'd be warmed up. It's getting you and them into the best frame of mind you can do for ready to go cross country. If I feel that he's moving on well off my leg, he's staying in a good positive rhythm, he's being brave at the collecting ring fence. I've angled it a couple of times, I've done it a bit quicker once or twice, then you're ready to go. Kick on and good luck.